Um, as many know that Team Japan was the winner of OWC 2014, and this is actually the first time them for them to summon up a good enough roster to actually compete once again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The land of the rising sun rising once again. Vento and Vervelian, uh two really scary good players on that Japanese team. A vital part of that roster. Mm -hmm. Russia looking good as well. Unfortunately, they have transitioned to lobby, but, <laughs> but uh, so I feel kind of bad because we can't give Russia the. the, the yeah, big I, well, I was just about. I was, yeah, I was I like, oh. <laughs> not too worried. Not too worried. I, well, I'm, I'll be sure to you know jump over to the players yeah. once they get the match. <laughs> right. Uh, for Russia, well, on the screen here, we have Folong, Alumetri, Red Pixel, and Talala. I believe they are just doing their warm-up map right now. Um, yeah, so among this, uh, among this roster, uh, some very old names that, that we didn't know. Red Pixel, Talala, they were uh, old veterans, I believe Folong as well. Um, they've been around for many years to come, actually. So they uh, definitely have experience to lead their team in the WC. And then this is... Ooh, wait, is this the... This may actually Fine. be the yeah no this is a the, I think this is a map that was taken in the OWC 2015 finals pool that was yeah, a hard map. You remember seeing this map? Yeah yeah yeah. So. I'm just not sure if it's the same map because uh, it's been like three years already, so how time flies and I couldn't really recall if it's the exact same map, but I'm pretty sure it's the same, same map set. So someone wow, can maybe double check that for me. Yep. Yeah, this this should be an absolutely thrilling matchup. Two teams who have improved in their rankings and seedings this past year. Japan in 2017 were ranked 20th in the world uh, in the World Cup seedings coming into the tournament. They're now 10th overall. Russia jumping from 11th to 6th. So two teams who are improving very quickly about to clash. This is going to be a great match. Yeah, this can become super Clash of Titans level because uh, Japan, although it's never known as like the superpower, um, they have never been like faded away. Like they've been just lurking in the background, waiting for the chance to strike, like a ninja if you want to call them that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ever since 2014, and and this is this match is so important considering that the uh, the group, the the group that they'll be matched up with in the round of 16 contains Canada and Germany. So. Those two teams, that's the group uh, that they'll be facing in the round of 16, probably matched up. So, very important. This might determine who faces Canada and who faces Germany. Um, for Canada and Germany, their seedings, or I'm sorry, their placements have been decided, right? I believe so, yes. Uh, Canada did defeat Indonesia, and Germany defeated Canada. Ah, uh, okay. So, Canada will be second, and uh, Germany will be top of group. Yeah, unless, Ooh, Germany, it, unless Indonesia I, defeats Germany. Okay, I think I, I think Vento just failed there, and uh, yeah. the client just stopped playing music completely because yeah. of the first client. The so client yeah, uh, is sad. To, to explain what happened, because the OS20 client uh, have eight instances running at the same time, and obviously playing the sound effect and music for all eight clients at the same time can not only be taxing for the CPU, but also uh, quite j just a chaotic experience if you hear eight different sound eight, effects. Eight sounds. audio tracks overlaid on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, um, so how we deal with that is that we take only the first client, the top left corner's player. Um, so yeah, if you ended up being the number one uh, spot of your match lobby, uh, do watch out because your sound effect is yeah, going to be no the Yeah, no pressure. Player. No pressure. no pressure. Just know that we'll Easy. hear every single miss from you and uh, good luck getting that full combo. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Have fun. Plus World Cup, you know, only thousands of people watching. Yeah, no big, no big. And speaking of which, we, we, I believe we have hit like quite a high number of viewers on this weekend. Um, like we, I've been around for the OWC since 2014, and I will say that over the years we have seen a quite a dramatic increase over the time of uh, viewers. And uh, this is like the most populated weekend for a group yeah, stage. I, I think we've hit over 3k. Yeah. Group stage it's quite, so far. Quite so uh, big round of applause to the community and to everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope that you guys will enjoy what you see, which are about. Yeah, because you guys are in for an absolute treat. This block, Japan, Russia, and then afterwards, don't go anywhere. We have China versus the United Kingdom. Ooh, that's another really awesome matchup. Yeah. Gonna get to see another great match. Waiting for the second warm up here to get underway. So, Evrian, do you have any predictions? Um, you know, 
quite honestly, I don't know what to say because this is my first time seeing this Japanese roster. I know like a couple of players like Jealous and Shantel Kowalman, but I don't know this entire roster how they perform as a. Russia, on the other hand, is very solid in like yeah. their fundamentals. I don't think there's anything, any map in there that really trips them up, but they can uh, sort of break here and there when they're not careful. I mean, um, there are some inconsistency mistakes happening over the years. Um, not gonna name players, but the, uh, Russia is gonna have to deal with that. I believe they know what I'm talking about, and they will have a plan uh, if they want to win this match. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm leaning towards, you know, 60-40 uh, towards Russia taking this one. Yeah, that would be my prediction as well. I think what's going to be a very deciding factor is the depth of the Japanese roster here. Yes. Uh, they have great players uh, and they're a high seeded team, but Russia, as you said, a very, very good And it's going to come to that bench that's going to decide this in terms of consistency. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Russia takes this 5-3. to three. Mm -hmm. because, uh, Japan are very scary. Uh, yeah. They can excel on so very okay. well. Let, let's take a look then. Maybe yeah. the, the players will surprise the surprises. Almost always, the surprises you get from OWC is a positive one, and uh, it, oftentimes that leads to a quite exciting matchup. You gotta love surprises. You gotta love surprises, of course. Then again, I'm not exactly the best at predicting World Cups. For those of you watching CW, who watch CWC, you know that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you tuned in at all to any of that, but we had pre-show segments uh, before the few of the week did. Uh, JD Hype in face cam and talk matches and stuff. I was just humble. But hey, may maybe my luck will be different at the standard. New mode. Yeah, definitely. Standard is a very different mode from uh, Ost Cash. But nonetheless, we do have a couple of players who do play both in both modes. Uh, sorry, both modes. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, Crystal. Yeah. Well, I do believe we'll see in the next, uh, next hour. Uh, they're playing. Okay, as we did say. Uh, yes, we did okay. see him. Yeah. Uh, he is a defending us catch world champion. Mm -hmm. That's a moment. Oh, they won, like yeah, they won. Oh my yeah, god. They, they, they beat saw, the United oh. States in grand finals. Uh, it was quite an amazing tournament. I gotta go watch the box for that then. Uh, oh yeah, in quarterfinals, the US and China uh, squared off. And uh, then they faced again in grand finals. So. I don't want to spoil that for you guys because it was such a good tournament. I encourage you to watch the VODs later, obviously. Right now, we've got some awesome OS about to be played. Okay, it seems like the stream is fixed. Yeah, uh, sorry. Having a little bit of technical issues at the moment, so... Yeah. We, well, we do apologize for any yeah. of the technical difficulties. After all, this is a brand new UI we're just experimenting with this weekend. Um, <laughs> Pepe wanted yeah. to push something this... out brand new for you guys, so, you know... This uh, this UI definitely has a lot of potential. Yes, yes. A lot of potential, but it's, it's really bright. <laughs> it's, it is so bright. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think but, any of us were. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I love the new fonts. I do like the font. And uh, I like how they're incorporating more stats on the bottom, like the map. 
and the team that picked it is always yeah, at the bottom of the screen. That's the so, UI we're, we're just getting this year. Last year, we're still working with the new old UI. I believe, um, you know, like if you were here last year, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah. the old one, compared to this one, is a lot less informative. So definitely yeah. kudos to Peppy for at least trying to work this one out. Oh, yeah. so, the old one, though. Us. The old well, one is, is, still a, is still a very nice one. I like the top screen of the old one. It looks really yeah. nice, like the cursive font. Um, so I, think the one, I think the we'll one big faces. thing is... Yeah, I think the one big thing that uh, that people miss the most is uh, the commentator bubble, the thing that showed the commentators, because I've seen so many people going exclamation point commentator, exclamation point casters, which by the yeah. way, it's exclamation point casters, if I'm not mistaken, for those wondering. But here we go. So here's a screen showing you guys some highlights of the action that's already happened, some results, as well as the action to come this weekend. We're about halfway through, as Evrian said. This is the start of day two, pretty much, of the group stage. Much us left to be played. Ooh, and uh, there's a pattern if I'm noticing one, because it seems like the right side of the screen, the blue team is has been the one to often take this. Uh, rip France. Yeah, well, except for France. <laughs> Unfortunate. I guess, I, guess you can call, you can, I guess you can call them uh, combo breakers. Combo breaker. No pun intended. Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Yeah, we're, we're just about to get started casting this, uh, the official match itself. So, uh, can be any time now. We're just waiting. So, bear with us and we'll be right there with you. I must say, I'm quite looking forward to Italy versus Denmark. That's going to be a big match. Ah, uh, yes. Both teams are quite strong and I do believe it's going to be a very interesting matchup. Well, after I all, like, all the teams in this program are quite strong. I wouldn't be oh, yeah. playing against them if I, I were... I actually play. believe that that match might be for second place in that group, potentially. Ah, that, no, that's interesting, that's, because that means one team will have to go home early, and the other yeah. team gets to the best. Yeah. So I believe Poland is the top seed in that group, and they're performing well, as always, the defending world champions of standard. Um, but Italy and Denmark, two very good teams. Denmark very much a little underrated, and Italy a very scary unseeded team. Hmm, yes. So, don't want to miss that if you're going to be able to make it. That's going to be a good one. Spoilers, I'm casting it. <laughs> With Chippy later, so it's going to be fun. Oof, you guys have fun then. Yeah, yeah, but hey, right now, big matches. So again, they're just still setting up the lobby, making sure everything's okay. Again, want to make sure everything's running properly and smoothly to start off the second day. The best things can't be rushed. Exactly. So while we're waiting here, how about let's uh, uh, you know let's you know do the do a little PSA for those who do not know. You know, OS, uh, the OWC is actually community sponsored almost entirely. Uh, we do have uh, support yes. banners in the shop. So if you see a team you want to cheer for that you anticipate winning the OWC, if you can buy a banner, for example, for uh, France, for Great Britain, for uh, China, USA, whatever. Belgium. Team you want to do. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and it's a great way to come to you know to support the community and to support the teams because all the proceeds do go towards the prize pool and the players will thank you of course for that if they yes. do win. Yeah, it's it's definitely a worthy. Oh, and we don't have those yet. Okay, I, I'm people we soon have those, right, Deppy? Uh, I, yeah, they're coming okay. soon, TM. They're coming soon. We yeah. will alert you whenever we have them. All right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of I guess went ahead of myself. <laughs> hey, but just just be aware. Next weekend. Next, Next weekend. weekend. Okay. 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 We Oh, right. actually, right. it's on the first map already. No, I don't think so. It's no, you're sticking to the beds. Yep. Getting okay, so the beds. So yeah, we... so despite what UI looks like right now, Japan, I don't think, has taken the point yet. The player's just getting the beds no, out there. Yeah. yeah, Japan is not taking the point yet. That's just got to be updated real quick. Yeah. So Russia has banned Crush, uh, the Nomad. Uh, sorry, sorry, not Nomad. Uh, the, the Hidden Pick. Hidden Pick, uh, yes. And, and Japan has banned uh, Indifferences. Indifferences, really? No fidget spinners. Hmm. No fidget spinners. Woof. That's, hey. that's going to be interesting. Well, I mean, that map does kind of trip up some people. So I yeah, guess yeah. It's just not uh, the yeah, it's, 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 a not, fair, um, it's a fair band. It's not a popular band, a fair band, but it's just not what we've seen banned. But hey, again, these are two great teams facing each other, so maybe they're just banning to the other team's potential strength or weakness. Yes. At this point, these teams yeah. definitely are not banning because they can't play a map. So it's definitely going to be a strategic ban from Japan. We'll see how it works. 
hopefully works out in their favor. I do believe that means Russia are getting the first pick. Uh, no, Japan is getting the first pick. Bad. Japan won the roll, my bad. And their pick is a Fremont pick. Uh, Brisks or Quietly Quietly Brisks or Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think we can we can say that when the, when when you can play China next uh, next time next time. Oh yeah, oh that'll be perfect, perfect. Yes. We're warming up. All right. So once Chess again, on the screen here, this is the map pool that we're playing this uh, this weekend. This is a good stage map pool for those who are unaware. Yeah, we got some absolute bangers in here. Um, unfortunately, though, the map for the end again, it crush as you can see. I love that okay. flashing uh, animation there. So helpful. And uh, there we see the two differences as well. And the first map being picked by Team Japan is the three map pick, rests or politely evacuate the premise. Nice. With all these flashing and these lights, we might need to put an epilepsy warning on this overlay. <laughs> <laughs> I do see a lot of Russian fans cheering for their team. Like, yeah, uh, there you go. Up, uh, Bolong, Absoup, uh, I don't know how to say that name really. Uh, <laughs> I really think so. And, and, and the gang. gang. Can we get more love for the Japanese players as well? Uh, if you want to see a certain player play, uh, you know, to them, maybe they'll just answer. Or if you want to see uh, the, whichever team winning this, just you know, do a shout out too. But for now, we're going into this first map of this uh, of this day two. We have a free mod pick, and ooh, right now we have a couple of mods oh. here. That's more ooh, than what we yeah. have. Well, you you typically have that in free mod. <laughs> well, we have. have to. A, I mean, <laughs> what's required is one two. Players each playing at least yeah. one mod, yeah. but in this case we have three mods from both teams for now. I think unless Angel Arrow also has a. Yep. Oh I, yeah, he does. He has okay. got hidden. Oh. Yeah. So Panic Japan, has, Japan has four mods versus Russia three, and uh, yeah. that means Japan has the mod advantage. Yeah, slight mod advantage, but here we go. The so early committed by Russia is a little bit of a. Uh, not too much, I believe it's just so, like yeah. one accuracy. Yeah, it's, it's just accuracy used right now for Russia because, as you said before, Japan have the mod advantage, so they should be crawling back in the score line if they can keep their act up here. All is proceeding well right now. Fallen with his double S still intact, as well as uh, Shirasaka Kome. Yeah, Bento there with a red pick with a very good HDHR run going on there. Yeah. Not like bad. everyone is just trying to keep up their combos and the accuracy on the other hand is also very strong. But then again, yeah. this map is the one that goes by very fast. And any Ooh, miss look how close on. Is. Yeah. It's a battle between the Russian accuracy and the Japan mod advantage. And, and also right keep in mind that Japan has one more hard rock versus Russia. And hard rock spells a 10% score bonus, which is uh, more than the 6% run along by the hidden mod. Unfortunately for all you HP players, Hard Rock is way slightly heavier, giving you more points. It's 4v2. But again, back and forth, these teams are going. Yeah, they just trying to act battle if this keeps it, up. It's, we're in the last third every minute. This is coming down to the wire here in round one. What will it be? Russia's accuracy. Oh, Vervelian! Vervelian, breaking the face! And that might be enough. Angel Arrow will miss as well, and that's going to give the opening point to Russia. Yeah, Japan are going with a high risk, high reward, but this is turned out to be too much risk, and uh, the reward is just not worth it. And intense stuff already in round one of the match. But Russia yeah. take it one nothing, and Russia takes over Japan's pick, so they get a the So scores, three yeah. FCs on all FCs on Russia. Yeah, three with ninety nine point seven two or greater act. No, that's though still very good run from the Japanese side. I mean, oh, uh, Bavelian yeah. got a slider break, and that's very unfortunate. And yeah, Shirasaka Kome had an excellent run as well. Yeah. And Vento playing very well, FCing with HDHR. Yeah, both teams, the Nomad players definitely uh, did what they're supposed to do, which is to get a full pump for the team so desperately need. And that and... was a break point for Russia. <laughs> yeah. But already we're seeing quite a matchup already. Like, this is a very close game. If that is, if that is a uh, oh, red white terrorism. Yeah. Oh, this is not. Yeah, if that Robot, oh, two EDPM, a very fast alternate map. This is going to be a test for uh, both speed and accuracy. Yeah, and if that opening round was a indicator of how this match is going to go, we are going to be in for a treat. Because that came down to the wire at the end. We'll see if Japan can redeem themselves here with a breakpoint, or if Russia will. 
capitalize and make yeah, it. Once done. again, this uh, sorry, this weekend is all about consistency because the map pool is very easy. Any team, any player can do it on their own. But the question is, can they reproduce their best results every time? Now that is what consistency is all about. So Russia here definitely was very consistent today. So maybe they yeah. uh, already noticed what I had to say in the beginning, and they worked on their consistency. And this roster right now looking very good. Yeah, looks like we are seeing some substitutions on the side of Japan. Uh, Varvelium coming out as well as um, I can't forget who came out, but A Blue coming in as well as Benki for Japan. And we will see Aiden come in for Russia. Mm -hmm. I believe Alimetri also jumping in as well. So a few subs for both teams for this AR 9.5 Nomad pick here. Railway Terrorism round two. This is Russia's pick. Big spinner. And he's going to go to Japan on the spinner. Yeah, the spin to win game goes to Japan, but that's only the very beginning. And so we go into the actual map itself. Oh, it's an early drop. Yeah. But it's Again. actually the very beginning. It doesn't really matter. I, I think it only neutralizes the, spin, the spinner advantage. Yeah, yeah. At, at this point, yeah, really. Early drops much better than later. So this is still definitely overcomable for the Japanese as they've almost made up that score difference completely. They are Indeed. bleeding down the throat of Russia. Yeah, but this map is mapped in very intensely throughout, so a break can happen any time. So let's keep our eyes peeled about who is going to break next. Yep. I think the players are very consistent through the first section, so we go to the first quarters. Yep, here we go. The song gets a little bit intense as the slight of velocity jumps up, and we do have a little bit of a tricky awkward patterns coming in here and there. But nonetheless, the score lead is very, very tiny for, for Russia. Thanks to the early miss from Japan, but it's going to be enough for them to hold through to the very end. Still insanely close and everybody very holding close. their own. Yeah, Japan looking like they're going to try to avenge themselves for their earlier loss. And they're going to need yeah. every last bit of uh, energy they can get. Russia cannot afford a mistake right now. Japan are doing everything they need to be doing, keeping it as close as they can, waiting for an opportunity to strike and take that lead. As you can see, Russia is gradually, gradually putting away with a tiny yeah. sliver of a combo advantage. Yeah, tiny, just barely. But again, we're late in the map, so a miss from Russia, and that will instantly shoot over to Japan. Yeah, but so, yeah. we have about like a, a one third of a section left, so anything can still happen. If Russia breaks, it's going to be Japan's turn to make a comeback, but yeah. if Japan doesn't get that break it wants, it's going to be Russia's to win. Yeah, it's Very roughly 80,000 points of difference right now. It's slowly growing. Yeah, and not, not worthy is that everyone is having a very, very good accuracy. Look at all oh, yeah. the board, 99 plus on this map. This is, yeah, everyone is absolutely playing brilliant right now. As we go to the next section, slider velocity increasing now. Here we go. Will we see any breaks? This is absolutely insane stuff. These two teams putting on a show. Oh, but it blew, and that might seal it right there. Uh, Russia that not is killing ranks, and yeah, that's going to be two 0 in favor of Russia. Russia consistent throughout this map, going away for the four man four combo, and they did it. Wow! Again, though, Japan very much in this match, just unable to convert here. Russia showing no misses. Yeah. Four full combos versus three, but that three full combo is just not enough. Yeah. Still one, a very, very close match nonetheless. Just one missing a slider break from blue. It's mm -hmm. an excellent performance, really, but what are you going to do against four FCs? You have to FC as well. And yeah. even if they had, Russia's AK was superior there. So it would have come down to an AK battle and Russia winning that as well. Yeah, Japan, Red Pixel, though, 1 100, full long, 3 100. Like, that's, that's amazing. Insane, insane stuff. And Japan, though, will have the chance to return the favor. It's their pick, their second pick. We'll see where they go with this. Yeah, there's still a chance. I mean, like, we got, it's five to win, so Japan still has a little bit of danger, but they gotta make every opportunity count. Double time. Oh. They're going with double time. <laughs> Again, that's this is... There's a very important point here for Japan. You don't want to go down 3-0. This is a point that they need to win to stay in this match. 
Yeah, but Japan certainly it seems like they want to take some points away from Russia on the speed front. Mm -hmm. Although they just lost that earlier Nomad pick, but that's uh, that's a very I guess. Oh man, yeah, but that's not really double so time. Close. Also, yeah. keeping you updated on the other matches going on, Singapore and South Korea are tied at one apiece. Singapore with the next pick. Yeah, but man, Japan, it's been so close on both of these rounds, so it's not one-sided at all. Japan, they're still very much in this match. I can still make a difference. And as we see some roster swaps coming in for Japan, Barbellion's back in. Dallas is coming in. Yeah, Dallas. Uh, he was on the map for selectors last year. And uh, the interesting thing is that every weekend, we're going to have a map pool showcase for the next week. Um, eventually, over time, the map pool got so hard that the map pool selectors just could not play them anymore. But then we noticed that, you know, Dallas was still the only one to play the, the maps to give us a replace for the map pool showcase. Wow. Even up to a point where the players are turning around and going like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? And that's Dallas. Like, he is a good mapper, but also a very good player. So looking forward to see what he has here. We'll see how his double time skills are as we get underway in round three in this one. Japan down by two, desperately need a point. It's their second pick. Some early act being tanked here from everybody on Japan, but Dallas. That's gonna give Russia the lead. It's only Aiden really tanked act there. Yeah, and Russia, Russia. Seems to have a very consistent roster today in terms of both combo and the accuracy. Now mm -hmm. that's very, very important for all that we see, especially for group stage. Oh yeah, for group stage, if you can have a consistent roster with good act, that is absolutely what you need. You're gonna get out of groups every time if you can put a roster like that together. Once again, we're seeing that early lead not really going anywhere. It's just a, a very tiny margin going over to Russia thanks to their very accuracy close. General. Oh, Aiden, the first miss of Russia of the match. And Japan to the lead for the first time. They are in control. Yeah, and I believe Japan seeing that is going to be yeah, taking a breather now here. Break. Now this is a chance for a comeback. Aiden breaking there in a very convenient spot right before the, the halfway point too. Yeah. So we'll see how Japan's consistency holds up. Hopefully the nerves don't set in. But Russia have shown their first miss of the match in yeah, round three. They Russia isn't invincible, they are still vulnerable as a team, so can you punish that mistake you just made? Here's yeah. the question. Yeah, this is very important for Japan, they may not get another opening like this, they really need to take this opportunity and strike yeah. and get on the scoreboard. Alimetri shows a miss though, there's another one from Russia, Japan's score lead going to increase now quite yeah, But Red Pixel is hold on, still holding strong there with 99.5% First miss for Japan though. Yeah, that's not enough though, they need more than yeah. one miss. Again, it's still three full combos to two. Yeah, he'll go and into the, the final Banky. intersection before the uh, the final chorus. This yeah. is where like the streams come in, and I see that everyone is holding strong. Fallen! Oh, hold on. That's a big drop right before the break. That's a big drop for Russia. Yeah, he made it through the streams, but he broke on the single taps. Ah, oh, that's very that's very bad. It's 200,000 Japan now. It's going to grow even greater due to the miss from Fallen. Red Pixel is the only Russian FC left at the moment. Meanwhile, Dallas, Bento, Barbellion, Standing tall for Japan, looking to put them on the scoreboard. Yeah, very, very good. This is going to go with Japan just fine. This is a very good pick for them. Yeah. It's paid off the double time pick. And this is going to be a big confidence booster. Japan on the board. It's 2 1. Yeah. Brilliant stuff from Japan there. They clenched that one back, but Russia's pick once again. So Russia has a chance to How regain about that momentum. Dallas? Three yeah. 100s. As Three well 100 as Red Dallas. Pixel. He and Red Pixel coming in with the uh, same act. Yeah. But also, we're going to update you on another match. Taiwan has taken the opening point in their match against Hong Kong. They lead one nothing. That is the top seed Taiwan against the unseed Hong Kong. Remember, Hong Kong, the unseed, defeated France, the high seed of the group. So it's going to be a close match. Yeah. And oh my goodness, the difference of score was 8,000 points. Ooh, that's very close. In the opening round between them. That's insane. Well, then again, uh, 
Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China, like the players, because they all speak the same language and they're geographically very close to each other. Um, they basically, if one side has a tournament, they often play uh, just all together. So like they all know each other, I believe, and I don't yeah. think that you know Japan or I'm sorry, Hong Kong or Taiwan is gonna be surprised that whatever the other team yeah. has. To we're going to see Sola coming in from Russia, though, here. But we will keep you updated on those matches as they... In between rounds here, as we get the scores. But yep, yeah, is the pick from Russia. Their second pick. Yeah, this is so also very go. fast. So yeah, Russia Kaden. is looking to try to conquer Japan back on their own speed game. Let's yeah, see how they're going to fare for that. This will be hidden. We do see a few substitutions for Russia. AxWB coming in for his first play of the match. You see Shirasaka Kome coming back in for Japan as well as Angel Arrow. And then Vento and Dallas still in for Japan. Some client lag there. Nobody has actually missed yet. Or we believe so. Yep, nobody has missed. Yeah. Alright, so here we go into the map. Hit and pick. Uh, oh, Shirasaka Kome though. There's the first miss for Japan. Yeah. Oh, well, it's very early, but then again, Shasaka's accuracy is looking a little bit weak there, so maybe he's not Bento comfortable with this. Bento as well. Ah. Again, early misses. Not going to hurt Japan too much, but they are on the back foot here. Yeah, Angel Arrow and Dallas still holding on for their team. They're looking to punish Russia for the next mistake. But, Dallas! Oh, Dallas looking down. a little now. This is going to be a little bit hard for Japan to come back. We're going to rush to break right now. Starting to break right now. Red Pixel holding the SS still as Dallas finds yet another miss. Japan really behind here. Axe WB will find the first miss for Russia though. But still, Japan are going to need much more from Russia if they're going to take this point. Yeah, Angel Arrow, despite holding the MC, is not really holding a good accuracy. He is the weakest accuracy uh, compared to Russian players. Dallas struggling to find his footing in this one. And there goes Angel Arrow. And that's going to be a nail on the coffin, I believe. Although it's only a two-thirds of a way in, I don't think Yorkers is going to make yeah. too many mistakes in the end for Japan to punish. There's no four combos on Japan. Although Shira Sakakome yeah. and Vento have been rebuilding quite nicely. The Russian players are just nailing those screens. Yeah. Alimenta, Red Pixel, and Aiden still dominating right now. The full combos. There's nothing that can be done unless we see a complete meltdown from the Russian side. They're going to be extending the lead to 3-1 here. Nothing else to report here. Angel Arrow will find yet another Miss Vento as well. Japan limping across the line here. On this hidden pick. Russia showing their dominance as Aiden will find the miss at the end. Won't change things. 3-1 to one, Russia. And oh, we have an interesting score update. Singapore have taken the lead two to one over South Korea, the low seed on top of the high seed at the moment. So interesting stuff right here. So every in with this pick, where do you think Japan's going to go with this given the maps we have left in the pool? Well, Japan has shown that they have the potential on double time, so maybe they're going to go for the other double time pick, uh, which is um, Hokiboshi. Mm -hmm. um, that does make sense. Yeah, but uh, but Russia then will only be looking like one point if they do have to lose that one, and can always make a comeback on maybe picking another fairly technical that way that makes Japan uncomfortable, seeing their performance just uh, earlier. Could be that they're trying to go, and if they have confidence in the consistency, Russia could go for a dream catcher because that's going to be basically testing your consistency to very extreme. It's just jumps and one two jump and uh, segment is screen here and there. Definitely, and if you're Japan here, this is a pick you need to win because putting Russia at match point and handing them the pick very dangerous. Yeah, but Russia so, is not there yet. They not there yet. Twice, so but this is a very important pick for Japan, though. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I think Hokiboshi probably would be the most logical choice. And actually, Japan's going to be the one. Dream Catcher! 
the exact opposite of what we thought, literally. That's something we thought Russia were going to pick, but Dreamcatcher is the pick from Japan, no mod. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I, I actually thought that Dallas would be staying in, considering he's a very consistent player. But I guess um, maybe he just wants to give his teammate a better shot at this. So yeah, Russia yeah. going in with this, uh, with a elementary full. Ninety nine point nine two. Yeah, that's like one one hundred. Yes, one one hundred. One hundred.
pick. Oh, it's gonna be yellow oh, splash, nice. actually. So they're picking yellow splash after all. I'm gonna try to seal the deal with yellow splash. No mod. Not a bad pick, actually, considering that I guess if you're Russia right now, you probably feel that your overall consistency is just better than Japan's. Well, I wouldn't be surprised because they definitely have shown yeah. that over yeah. these past five maps. True, definitely. And Yellow Splash, a decently technical Nomad pick here. Yeah, they are, it's not too hard, but they're definitely places we can still come. Uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah, looking to see who's going to be the ones to fall victim to those. <laughs> Yep, we'll see who falls victim indeed, but Japan going to make the substitution as Taiwan now take a 2-1 to one lead over Hong Kong in that match. But yes, send your prayers, your energy. Yeah, we're just waiting for one more player to come in from Japan. Uh, who are we going to bring in as a question? Yeah, we got Carvelli and Shirasaka Kome Bento. Mm. Who will be the fourth man to fill up this roster? Could be Dallas? I would be guessing Dallas, but then again, uh, got some accident probably just means that he really is not getting comfortable with this pick. Again, referee asking for the fourth player. Dallas, indeed, you are correct. There he is, throwing the hands up in the chat. The one. And Talala has come in for Russia too. Yeah, it, good to see him out here. So here we go, round number six coming in. Varvelian, Shirsaka, Kome, Vento, and Delis for Japan. Alimetri, Talala, Aiden, and Red Pixel for Russia. Russia at match point. And here we go. On Yellow Splash, and Japan actually opening up with a slight advantage. Ooh, that's something we haven't seen today. On so Ag, far, yeah. yeah so, so far, far, every map, Russia's been the one to take the Ag. Yep, but this time it is Russia dropping slightly on the accuracy, giving the lead to Japan. Again, still anyone's game right now. Oh, Aiden, they're almost missing here. He's cursed oh, shooting a little bit. I saw that. Save. Yeah, that was very good save. But thanks a lot, no save. The team's gonna yeah. take a float. They're just no, behind Japan. Nobody has dropped it. This is very close. You may want to watch it closely the for the rest close. of this one. Yeah. Big, yeah, that was a big scare for Aiden. He might play a little bit more nervous. Yeah, oh, it's very Japan. Three map. players still holding double ends of skill. That's insane. And Shirasaka, the only one who isn't, is at 99.8. Tomo oh, has the first miss. And he's probably not exactly as warmed up as everybody else. Japan. Yeah, and thanks for the nice just take over and start running away with a lead. One miss, just all the volume there is. That's yeah. the scary part. But it's not over yet. Team. Still difficult as Farfellian falls. Ah, oh, that could be big. Russia be now have the combo advantage, and there may just be enough time. Give me one more though, because Bavillion has managed to sum up a bigger combo than did Talala. Yeah, we'll have to see. It's yeah. gonna narrow a bit, to get close. That a little bit, but the actress is still big on Japan's side, so let's see who's gonna be. Although overall, oh, it's, everyone's it's very, very close. It's very close. Farvelian misses again! Oh, it's oh, close. Oh, no, 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 that's gonna no, be going over to Japan. Alas, yeah. Just under 100,000, but Japan yeah. survive. Japan clinching onto a sliver of hope, and they have done it. Avoiding defeat, making it two to four. Excellent stuff from Japan. Three FCs, Varvelian with one miss and a slider break. But able to hold on and take the win off of one miss from Russia, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, only one miss from Russia. That is yeah. how good both these teams are. Just yeah. one miss determining the match. Uh, so it can really just boil down to that one miss. But now Japan find themselves still in this match. And they are down to their last pick. They will now have to win, take a break point, and win tiebreaker to win this match. Not impossible. But they only have hard rock, one double time, and one free mod. Hard rock is untested waters for both of these countries. They're, honestly, I'm thinking they're going to go with uh, Yuboshi for double time. Because that's where they got their first point on. 
double time. They may just go with that. Are you feeling something else, Ibrahim? Um, I'm gonna say that I will keep silent and see what the players have to pay for this one because honestly, I thought that uh, Japan would have lost that one, to be very honest. Yeah, we kind of find ourselves in an interesting situation here. Yeah, not, not saying that I don't trust Japanese players, but we just felt that up to that point, Russia was so commanding to the lead, even though the, the margin of error was only one person every map. So we, we may just see Russia uh, taking the next one, but then again, Japan has to take, so who knows? Maybe they'll be able to take something to get a third point for, the, for themselves, which is very, very important for people wanting to stay in. I don't think we're going to see uh, Yume Moroboshi. Or, or Maboroshi. Uh, not a, I mean, we we might, but I don't think Japan will be the one to pick it, considering Japan. Yeah, I would say they're going to pick Hopi Boshi. Like, I feel like Russia are going to pick that if they lose this pick here. Um, or they go for Halo Queen. Or, or Halo Queen, yeah. Those are yeah. definitely two good maps to pick. I feel like it's going to be Hopi Boshi mm. or Clock Strikes. And it's going to be Clock oh. Strikes, so we're going to be jumping into Hard Rock. No, that's interesting. Well, Clock Strikes, nothing too... Yeah, nothing too hard about it. It's just about consistency, really. Hard Rocks, despite being Hard Rock, it's not gonna be like uh, Nightmare, unable to play Hard Rock. It's only group stage, so every player should be able to play this fight. Yeah, as uh, we're gonna get a quick, uh, fix a few technical issues real quick and be right back. But yeah, so yeah. Hard Rocks, the first time we're seeing Hard Rock in the match. Um, and I do like this pick from Japan. They just won a... I don't think you can call it a consistency pick, but they did uh, put together a very impressive performance in Yellow Splash with three FCs and a one miss. So, consistency pick might not be bad right now. And considering that nobody's played Hard Rock yet in this match, it may very well catch Russia off guard. But this does have backfire potential. Indeed, it's a very easy reactive thing, so basically this comes down to who can get the full combos and the accuracy is right. Yeah, accuracy is going to be super important on a map like this. Yeah, quite honestly, I, th I thought that, you know, Russia would be the one to take this, if anything, because it's so easy. Yeah, I agree, but these teams have just been kind of just doing the exact opposite of what we've predicted. Barbellions is no map. Interesting. <laughs> well, speaking of no map, I, I mean, I mean, like there are other very good players who are, you know, not very proficient at keeping uh, up to date with the map pool. Looking at two of the Hog champ. <laughs> yeah. Interesting stuff. But Taiwan have taken a three-one lead over Hong Kong just before we get into this match, real quick. Keeping you updated on that. All right. On I believe we're starting. Anyone. But here we go, round number seven. Four two in favor of Russia. Japan facing a loss here. Trying to run it back with their last pick of the match. Clock strike um clock strikes. Yes. Well one OK Rock is pretty big fan in Japan, so it could be that they, they want yeah, to yeah, bring it out. Let's go out with our favorite song. But I mean is that too crazy right. to thought? So yeah. I'm gonna say that the players on the Japanese side have something planned here. So good luck to them. I'm pulling this one through. One OK Rock giving Japan the powers, but this time is Russia. It was Japan with the act lead early, but now Russia has taken it. So again, the act battle is going to be very important in this. Yeah, if not act battle, combo battles for sure. It's gonna be yeah. who can hold the full combos longer. Yeah. Just definitely be paying attention to act as it may come down to that and a consistency pick like this as we get into the first section here. Such a good song. But Angel Arrow has tanked act a little bit as well as Banky. They tanked down to 97, 98. Yeah, I think that Rush is going to be running away with the lead for now. Yeah. Oh, Neko Ooh. DS though! He's, it's his first play of the match. Is that a lag? I, I, I think he's cool to hit that, but I'm not too sure. Let's take a look at what the yeah, server has to say. Yeah, he's going to update very soon. Oh, um, he did no. miss. Yeah, he did miss. Okay, so he Japan's going to lead very Japan? soon. Yeah, Japan will be taking this lead very soon. Neko DS though, maybe not exactly warmed up. This is his first, maybe he's just the Hard Rock Specialist. Yeah, well, even if you're a Hard Rock Specialist, you can't yeah. sit up. It doesn't mean that you're vulnerable. Yeah. And Japan will punish the mistake if you can give them yeah. that. 
Yeah, Japan have to punish this miss to stay alive. A golden opportunity for Japan. As they now begin to pull away. Alright, and with this break section, the scoreboard is we need a break. the players. We get a break. Yeah, the scoreboard is basically the players. The Japan knows what's going on. And I don't shake it because he knows what he, what he needs to do. His yeah. team just needs to stay up over the combo. Okay, even, even if you're tanking Ak at this point, you know the other team has put, has missed once. It doesn't matter yeah. as long as you can FC. You may even can choose to cheese through the streams if you want to. But Russia right behind them. They're going to yeah. look to punish Japan's next mistake. Because yeah, they, they, are... they are looking primed and ready. Elementary's yeah. got a good score. As well as uh, Palawa and Palawa have tanked a little bit of Ak, but are still there. But yeah, Vento and Barvelli and the Japanese superstars here. We're going to be going into a little bit of a jump section very soon, so let's see the players. Yeah, here we go. Will we see breaks? No. They all hit it. And that is good for Japan. Very close. 11,000 points of difference. Here we go into the last section. Can Japan hold it? Even Give your team section, your energy for this final section, the final push. Japan, though, the score difference, I believe, is getting too wide. It's yeah, Japan's over like they can do this. 300k, Japan, going to force it to Russia's last pick. Not going down just yet. Yeah, they're saying we're still in this. We still and it's got a this. Quad FC from Japan. Very they well take done. It. Very well done from the Japanese players. They did exactly what they needed to do when they saw that Four, scoreboard. Three. And will we see our first tiebreak of the Os World yeah. Cup 2018? And Barbellion, two 100s only. Two 100s. That is absolutely insane. Bravo, bravo. Elementary was five 100s. Not yeah. bad. Seven 100s uh, from the one miss from Neko Diaz ended up being the one miss to seal that game. Well, that map, sorry. Yeah, and, and uh, just looking yeah. at accuracies, it would have been very close, but I do believe that Russia would have taken it. Potentially. Yeah, that would have been have. very close if it had come down to an act battle. Well, then again, uh, here, like like if Japan did what I said they would, which is to uh, decide to just hold a combo and maybe even cheese their accuracy a little bit. Like, yeah, they, they, that's something they have to come to only after seeing that one break from Neko DS. So if they have not seen that uh, scoreboard over there, they may have chosen to just go with holding the accuracy still. Yeah, true. That's also very true. But now the yeah. big question is, where will Russia go with their final pick here? Mm. They always uh, theirs to pick and theirs to win, so... Look at these three maps, they've got Halo Quinn, <laughs> Maboshi, and <laughs> Mo Moboshi. Yeah, like I said, Human Maboshi is like the one so bad kid in your class. You never wanna... Uh, nobody wants out there on the dodgeball team. And he's oh, sitting in the corner right now. The like, last kid pick picked every time. Like, yeah. You've got Halo Quinn, Maboshi, and then AR-10 DT. AR-10 <laughs> Well, AR-10 is not that bad. It's kind of like a pick your poison, really. Uh, yeah, kind of. But kind I of.
Liverpool Gellers and Ben Key saying, sure, let's do this. And the Russia players are just going to go with it. Interesting. And also really quickly, before we get into the South Korea lead, Singapore 4-2 to two at match point in that ah, one. Those are all, all right. the score updates we have. But here we go. Round 8, DT. All right, we have a little bit of a distinct from the clients, a little bit, but we will be caught call, call up very quickly. Oh, thank you. There we go. All right, we're all good. And just, oh, did we see a miss or just a big axe drop? It was a uh, big I think axe, axe drop. drop, yeah. Red 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 but yeah. it's only the beginning, like, the, it yeah. starts very abruptly, so players will just be caught off guard, yeah. and uh, accuracy can very yeah. quickly develop. It is uh, AR Gen 10 DT, so here we go. Japan fighting to stay in this match. This is... Oh! Varvelian will oh, yeah. for Japan. Oh, that's, that, that's not good for them, but then again, it's only in the beginning, so it yeah. can happen still. Yeah, but Russia yeah. seems to be having some difficulty taking it away, but they're finally yeah, doing it. I think the accuracy. Struggling yeah. With. They have a 70, a 70, uh, not 70, 97, 98, 96%, and a 96, yeah. 70, I don't know what was wrong with there. That's but, not uh, true position. I'm, they I'm gonna... do finally take it, but it's not that big of a lead. I mean, it's going to continue to grow, given the fact that Japan found a miss, but if Russia find a miss, they're in a quite a difficult spot here. Yeah, it's just, Russia's turn to defend their lead now. Yeah. And knowing the players, they're very consistent, but the accuracy is probably a different story. Let's yeah. go with the Pixel and Neko GS are going to be holding on to that. Yeah. Alright, so. halfway point through, Russia has a, has a 100,000 point lead, but still lots of chances to miss. Yeah. It's still a third of the map left as the break is here. They see it 120k about. That can still be flipped very quickly if Russia very find quickly. a miss. Because Japan have done well to stay behind. Stay right where they need to be. Take the lead back. Should Russia find a miss? But the question but is, will Russia? Russia players miss? are not going to be allowing that mistake to happen. Yeah, Russia trying to seal the deal. Will they find a break? Does not look like it. No, I think they're going to run away with that. That's one miss too many from the Japanese players, and Russia is going to take Again. this away. Five to three. One miss is all it takes. Unless we see a fail at the end. No, this will feel potential. Over. <laughs> And I don't think we will. And that's it. 5-3 Russia. Hey, I got a prediction. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, we both got our predictions right. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, good good job to the Russian players and also to Japan for trying to make the comeback happen. Very well played. Very close. By, uh, Very close. By all teams. Farvelli yeah. just unfortunately found two misses back to back. Mm -hmm. And that was enough to give Russia the 5-3 win. A great match. Still yeah. no tiebreaker. We're waiting for our first tiebreaker. <laughs> I, I see lots of Ru Russian players uh, are, are in the chat going like, Rah! 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 Oh, Rah! We did it! Yeah. Very well played. Very well played. Yeah, Alright, are... so we're moving on very soon, I believe. Yeah. Coming up next, we'll have the United Kingdom versus China. So 